Welcome to Wicked Shizuku's Reviews, bringing you a southern perspective on books, movies, music, and much, much more. Stick around for a while, you just might hear something wicked. And hello again, and welcome back to Wicked Shizuku's Reviews, where I read to you, and we will be continuing in episode 85 with The Bard's Comedy of Errors. And I will be picking up in Act 4, Scene 4. So, let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, if, if you've enjoyed these readings would you please give me a like subscribe and share before we even start off tonight so um also i got a uh i got an email from one of my old teachers and uh he was quite per perturbed with me and uh he said that i had been mispronouncing ephesus or ephesus and i was saying antipholus for antipholus so now that has been cleared up. My pronunciation is much better, I hope. So, we are picking up with scene four in act four. The same place, which is a public place. Enter Antiphilus of Ephesus and an officer. Antiphilus of Ephesus. Fear me not, man. I will not break away. I'll give thee ere I leave thee. So much money to warrant thee as I am rested for. My wife is in a wayward mood today, and will not lightly trust the messenger that I should have be should be attached in Ephesus. I tell you, twill sound harshly in her ears. Enter Dromeo of Ephesus with a rope's end. Here comes my man. I think he brings the money. How now, sir, have you have you that I sent for you, Dromeo of Ephesus? Here's that I warrant you will pay them all. And Antiphilus of Ephesus. But where's the money? Dromeo of Ephesus. Why, sir, I gave the money for the rope. Antiphilus of Ephesus. Five hundred ducats. Villain for a rope? Dromeo of Ephesus. I'll serve you, sir, five hundred at, at the rate. Antiphilus of Ephesus. To what end did I bid thee? Hie thee home. Dromeo of Ephesus. To a rope's end, sir, and to that end am I returned. Antiphilus. And to what end, sir, I will be welcome you. Officer, good sir, be patient. Beating him. Dromeo, nay, tis for me to be patient. I am in adversity. Officer, good now, hold thy tongue. Dromeo, nay, rather persuade him to hold his hands. Antiphilus, thou were, thou horse son, senseless villain. Dromeo, I would I were senseless, sir, that I might not feel your blows. Antiphilus, thou art sensible in nothing but blows, and so is an ass. Dromeo, I am an ass indeed. You may provide, you may prove it by my long ears. I have served him from the hour of my nativity to this instant, and have nothing at his hands for my service but blows. When I am cold, he heats me with beating. When I am warm, he cools me with beating. I am wake, waked with it when I sleep, raised with it when I sit, driven out of doors with it when I go from home, welcomed home with it when I return. Nay, I bear it on my shoulder as a beggar won't her brat. 
and I think when he hath lamed me, I shall beg with it from door to door. Antipholus, come, go along. My wife is coming yonder. Enter Adriana, Luciana, and the courtesan, with Pinch and others. Dromeo, mistress, respice the name, respect your end, or rather the prophecy. Like the parrot, beware the rope's end. Antipholus, wilt thou still talk? Beats him. Courtesan, how say you now? Is not your husband mad? Adriana, his invinci his incivil incivility confirms no less. Good Dr. Pinch, you are a conjurer. Establish him in his true sense again, and I will please you what you will demand. Luciana, alas, how fiery and how sharp he looks. Courtesan, mount, mark how he trembles in his ecstasy. Pinch, give me your hand and let me feel your pulse. Antiphilus, there is my hand, and let it feel your ear. Pinch, I charge thee, Satan, housed within this man, to yield possession to my holy prayers, and to thy state of darkness, hie thee straight. I conjure thee by all the saints in heaven. Antiphilus, peace, doting wizard, peace, I am not mad. Adriana, O oh, that art, O oh, that thou wert not. Poor distressed soul. Antiphilus, you minion, you. Are these your customers? Did this companion, with the saffron face, revel and feast at my house today, whilst upon me the guilty doors were shut, and I denied to enter my house? Adriana, O oh husband, God doth know. You dined at home. Where would you have remained until this time? free from these slanders and this open shame. And Tiflis, I dined at home. Thou villain, what sayest thou? Dromeo, sir, sooth to say, you did not dine at home. And Tiflis, were, my, were not my doors locked up and I shut out? Dromeo, purdy, your doors were locked and you shut out. And Tiflis, and did not she herself revile me there? Dromeo, sans fable, she herself reviled you there. Antiphilus, did not her kitchen maid rail, taunt, and scorn me? Dromeo, certes, certes, she did. The kitchen bestial scorned you. Antiphilus, and did not I rage? Depart from thence, Dromeo, and verily you did my bones bear witness that since I have felt the vigor of his rage. Adriana, it's good to soothe him in these contraries pinch. It is no shame. The fellow finds his vein, and yielding to him humors well his frenzy. Antiphilus, thou hast stubborn the goldsmith to arrest me. Alas, or Adriana, alas, I sent you money to redeem you by Dromeo here. Who came in haste for it? Dromeo. Money by me. Heart and goodwill you might. But surely, master, not a rag of money. Antiphilus. Wentest not thou to her for a purse of ducats? Adriana. He came to me, and I delivered it. Luciana. I am a witness with her that she did. Dromeo. God and the rope maker bear me witness that I was sent for nothing but a rope. Pinch, mistress, both man and master, is possessed. I know it by their pale and deadly looks. They must be bound and laid in some dark room. Antiphilus, say wherefore this thou lock me for today, and why dost thou deny the bag of gold? Adriana, I did not. Gentle husband, lock thee for. Dromeo, and Gentle master, I received no gold, but I confess, sir, that we were locked out. Adriana, dissembling, dissembling villain, thou speakest false in both. Antiphilus, dissembling harlot, thou art false in all, and art confederate with a damned pact to make a loathsome abject scorn of me, but with these nails I'll pluck out 
these false eyes that would behold me in this shameful sport pinch and assistance bind Antipholus and Dromeo of Ephesus Adriana oh bind him bind him let him not come near me pinch more company the fiend is strong within him Luciana ah me poor man how pale and wan he looks Antipholus what will you murder me thou gowler thou I am thy prisoner wilt thou suffer them to make re a rescue officer masters let him go he is my prisoner and you shall not have him pinch go bind this man for he is frantic too Adriana what wilt thou do thou peevish, peevish officer hast thou delight to see a wretched man do out outrage and displeasure to himself officer he is my prisoner if I let him go the debt he owes me will be required of me Adriana I will discharge the air I go from thee bear me forthwith unto his creditor and knowing how the debt grows I will pay it good master doctor see him safely conveyed home to my house O oh, most unhappy day Antiphilus O oh, most unhappy strumpet Dromeo master I am here entered in bond for you Antiphilus out on thee villain wherefore dost thou mad me Dromeo will you be bound for nothing be mad good master cry the devil Luciana God help poor souls how idly do they talk Adriana go bear him hence sister go you with me excellent pinch and assistance with Antiphilus and Dromeo say now whose suit is he arrested at officer one Angelo a goldsmith do you know him Adriana I know the man what is the sum he owes two hundred ducats Adriana say how grows it do officer do for a chain your husband had of him Adriana he did bespeak a chain for me but had it not courtesan when as your husband all enraged today came to my house and took away my ring the ring I saw upon his finger now straight after did I meet with him meet him with a chain Adriana it may be so but I did never see it come Galler bring me where the goldsmith is I long to know the truth at hereof at large enter Ant Antipholus of Syracuse with his rapier drawn and Dromeo of Syracuse Luciana God for thy mercy they are loose again Adriana and come with naked swords let's call to have them bound again officer away they'll kill us exeunt officer Adriana and Luciana Antipholus of Syracuse I see these witches are afraid of swords Dromeo of Syracuse she that would be your wife now ran from you Antipholus of Syracuse come to the centaur fetch our stuff from thence I long that we were safe and sound aboard Dromeo of Syracuse faith stay here this night they will surely do us no harm you saw they sp speak us fair give us gold methinks they are such a gentle nation that but for the mountain of mad flesh that claims marriage of me I would find in my heart to stay here still and turn which Antipholus of Syracuse I will not stay tonight for all the town therefore away to get our stuff aboard exeunt and that was Scene 4 of Act 4 of William Shakespeare's The Comedy of Errors. So, if you found this enlightening, if you found it educational or entertaining, would you please, please give me a like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And remember, if you're on Rumble, you're going to have to go back and do some mathematical gymnastics in order to be able to find these episodes from the very beginning those would be any episode that ends with five or a zero so 
I hope you have a good evening. Good night, everyone.